So in today's video, I want to talk to you about what I consider maybe a secret or maybe it's just a really important key to magic. And I have come in and out of this knowing for years, but it wasn't until just recently that it really made itself known to me. And I understand uh, the concept now. And once I did that, and once I gave myself permission to meld two worlds together, prosperity and amazing things started happening for me. So on this journey, um, we go through some stages. So before I had my shamanic initiation, my wake up from the other world, um, I was not spiritual at all. I was very much into um, just living my daily life like a robot, how I was programmed, working, um, making money, but spending it, being in debt, um, accumulating a lot of things, but never really thinking about it. Um, it was just what we typically do and what we are programmed to do um, is to consume and um, be in debt. And that's normal, like that's just normal, especially here in the United States. That you're always um, getting loans to pay off your car, you know, mortgages and all that kind of stuff. So you're constantly in debt. And I understand that that not everyone has, you know, a couple hundred thousand to drop on a house or, or something like that. I understand that. But I'm talking that we think it's normal just to be indebted. And so that's what keeps us like on the hamster wheel. And that's what happened to me. And then I had my near-death experience, my initiation from the other world and um, all those experiences starting to happen. And then I went full stop into the spiritual world and I shunned the other world that I was previously part of. And I concentrated just on spirituality, even though I kind of really didn't want to go in that direction because I didn't know what had happened to me. It was kind of scary for me and all that, but I was obsessed with finding out what was happening to me. I was just obsessed with it. And my actual like material world fell apart. It was devastating, but I felt like there was no, no other alternative for me at that time. My job fell apart, my relationship fell apart. Everything that was part of my world that I was just going through unconsciously started to fall away. So then I concentrated only on this shamanic, spiritual, what happened to me? What is this other world that I'm going to? And um, that became my life. And I felt there was a part of me that felt I can't be in that other life anymore. This is my life. I have to surround myself with just this spirituality and um, being this traveler that goes between the worlds. And I kind of went into victimhood and be like, I felt like it wasn't my choice. I felt like they had pulled me into their world and I was kind of angry about it. And then um, I accepted it. I surrendered to it and accepted the fact that I'm just going to have this life where um, I kind of fell into like the new age belief system where you have to be really humble and you have to be poor and um, you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way, you have to be in service and all that other programming. And I wasn't happy in that role, I really wasn't. So I tried leaving that and going back into just unconscious material world, but it was too late at that point. So I was in a point where I was miserable in this world. I didn't like what was happening in the spiritual world experience. And so I was really, really conflicted. 
So I tried to do the best that I could. Um, I was discovering a lot. Like I always felt really like conflicted because in the new age, they kind of shunned the material world. And I was fascinated by the material world. Matter fascinates me. And I always thought it was magical. And um, I knew because phys in my physical body, there was things happening. I knew the healthier my physical body was, the more that I could um, actually travel within it and um, out of it to other worlds, other dimensions inside the earth. So I knew there was a correlation between my physical body and my spiritual body that can um, detach and leave. So I knew the physical body was sacred, yet in new age everything was like, oh, this skin sack, I can't wait, I hate my body, you know, I can't wait to go back to wherever I came from. Um, very, there's a, there's a, in the new age, a lot I see there's a disassociation happening between the physical body and this physical 3D realm. It wasn't my experience. So I saw matter as sacred and holy and this world, this planet as beautiful. I, I don't want to leave it um, and go back to where everyone else talks to, you know, about Pallades and Arcturus and Andromeda, wherever they, they think they come from. Um, I really was in love with this planet and I think it's the most amazing, beautiful planet. And there's a part of me that's wondering, am I going to be able to come back here? I, I, I get scared that I'm never going to be able to like smell rain again or experience sunshine on my face or smell the trees when I go up to the mountains. It's all like these little things that I start to appreciate that if I don't get to come back to this planet, what are the things that I'm really going to miss? And it, and it was just these experiences actually more in nature than anything that we take for granted. The views as uh, we drive along certain areas I get fascinated by and other people are just looking straight ahead. I, I always saw everything as just amazingly beautiful and sacred and why would anybody not want to be from this planet? And I get it, you know, it's more like the human realm and, and the, the, the unconscious humans and things like that, that can be a struggle. And this goes back to animism, how animism, the core belief is that matter is sacred, nature is sacred. Um, they had metaphors for what thunder was and what lightning was and snakes and animals and everything. They had wisdom and they were guides. And those are my experiences now. I learn a lot from animals and um, I've shape-shifted into animals that take me places. Rivers were sacred. They had goddesses associated with them. The world was so sacred before organized religion came along and kind of caused this split, this disassociation from this world that it's sinful and we're being punished or something. And that wasn't, that wasn't my experience. Yes, there's suffering in this world and, and all that, but there's also this amazing other, it's, it's this other version of Earth, and this is where I think like old Earth and new Earth, there's two different versions going on right now. And if you watch my last video, I discuss how you can get into this new version. Um, so watch that last video. And so I was always kind of bouncing back between these two Earths. And now I feel like I'm really, really all the time in this new earth reality. It's a different hologram. I have different experiences. From my own experience and what I see other people, it's like when you're obsessed with the spirit world, you separate yourself from the material world. And then when you're obsessed with the material world, you separate yourself from the spiritual world. But the goal of this awakening, and I think the, the pinnacle of enlightenment is not that you sit in meditation all day and um, you're completely in the spirit world. That's not it. What I've discovered this year 
is, is when you marry the two together. When you marry the spiritual world with the material world. That is the peak. You no longer shun 3D. You see how beautiful it is. You no longer shun this physical body that we're in. You realize that this is the shell, the body of the magician. It's, it's going to create the magic that you came here to create. And it is like a holy marriage of the two worlds. When you love your experience now, you love the human experience, you've transcended the victim suffering um, part of humanity and you can witness it and you can see it, you've experienced it, but then you get to a point where you're you become neutral about it and you realize that everyone is experiencing their own needs, what they needed to experience to cleanse themselves. Or I, I still am a believer of karma where, where they're experiencing something because they may have done the same thing that they're a victim of now. They may have been the perpetrator in a previous life. So they're having to experience what it feels like in every aspect. And I know um, when I had this, when I, was, when I was opening up and I was experiencing all these things, I did have like a life review. And I've had to very briefly experience the pain of what it was that I had done to somebody else. So when we incarnate, you have to consider sometimes what has happened to you is because you needed to feel what it was like when you inflicted pain upon another person that is the balancing of karma and that is a law of the universe so sometimes your suffering is because you needed to feel what it was like to be on the receiving end of something you have done to somebody else in a previous life so that may help you to get through your suffering um, i know a lot of people in especially in new age when they see something or they experience something and they're like, I could never do something like that. But I would like you to consider that you may have done something like that in a previous life. And so when you get to this level, when you understand how the laws work, you become more neutral and you understand the dynamics that are playing out right now, that people may be in roles that previously it was reversed. And so that's playing out. And there's a lot of purging of that happening right now. So people that feel suppressed right now, um, in a previous life, they could have been the oppressors. And so now they're feeling what it's like. So again, I've said this so many times, we've been everything. And so there's a mass purge going on right now because we are elevating as humanity, as a species. So I guess my message is, is I know a lot of people think like the pinnacle is you sit there and you get this thousand petal lotus and you're bathed with light and now you're enlightened. I don't believe that that's what that is. I think it's when you get to a point when you don't deny one world for the other. You don't deny the spiritual experience and you don't deny the material experience. It's when you marry the two together. That to me is enlightenment. That you can see the sacredness and the holiness in matter because we've been programmed to see it not that way. And once I did that, prosperity started coming in. Once I decided I don't have to be in this um, role where I feel like I have to be humble and pious and poor and I'm just here to serve, um, I felt like that shifted for me. And then I was blessed with uh, what people would consider a normal 3D job and it was more money than I was expecting. I have amazing benefits. The people are amazing. Um, I love my job. And it's 3D. 
and I don't feel like I'm shunning my spiritual side. Um, I've married the two worlds together. And it's amazing. And who knows what I'm doing when I'm interacting with people at um, my 3D job. You know, um, I can never go back to being asleep or whatever because I still have experiences outside of my 3D job. But I've married the two worlds together. And maybe this is that sacred, holy marriage that you do it within yourself that heros gamos, the masculine and the feminine within yourself. And then it happens in your outside world where the spiritual and the material come together. And it really does become like this heaven on earth. So for a while there, there was no way that I could have done my spiritual uh, initiation, whatever happened to me, and worked at the same time because I was doing so much shadow work and figuring out what had happened to me. So there are times where you can't work when you're having a spiritual awakening or maybe your job doesn't resonate with you anymore. It's very common that you can't um, stay at a certain job when you're going through this. But then there's a period where it all like calms down and then you're able to join the world again, but you're a different person. And it's an amazing time for me um, and I am talking with other people and they're feeling the same thing too, that these two worlds, um, the material and the spiritual, one is not more holy than the other. And we shouldn't always just be striving to get to another higher dimension. You can, you can access everything right here, right now, but it, it needs to be balanced and both are important, but... The material world is just amazing and beautiful and 3D can be an amazing beautiful experience. It's just depending on what you choose and if you deprogrammed yourself and it's your perspective and how you see the world and that's why I've always encouraged everybody to be here, be now, be on earth, see how beautiful it is. There's a whole other version of earth that's there if you can get out of your own suffering and victimhood. So again, I recommend um, my last video. There's a chart in there that really helps because we always have a choice point and it's depending that choice, your reaction, what world version of earth you're going to experience. Okay, so that is it for today's video and I wish you all a happy Halloween. It's my favorite holiday and take advantage of the energies that are here for you and really try to see the sacredness and the holiness of matter. It's, it truly is magical. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.